Hey, I just want to talk to you a little bit about creating outlines. Why would you do it and how can it help? So I'm in an InDesign document right now and with my type tool I typed a B and then I made it larger and then I fit the frame, that's this blue outline, to the content, that's the B. So the way I do that is Option Command C. Object Fitting Fit Frame to Content. You can see the keyboard shortcut, Option Command C. See how that made the frame the same size as the B? In this B, I used a font called Urban. I'm going to stick with that one because this one is a serifed font. So let me delete that. Now I'm going to copy this B a few times while it is still text. When I say text, what I mean by that is text that I can select and change to a different letter. So, using my Align tool, my Align palette, I'll line up their top edges and I'll space them equally. And then I'm going to rotate them. So, if I duplicate this, to make a different word. And now I have the beginnings of what could be a Bauhaus poster. So if I click this uh, H, it's still a letter, right? I know that because I could select it and make it a different letter, but I want it to be an H. And I would like to change this H into a shape rather than a letter. It looks like a shape now, but it's a letter. Again, I know it's a letter because I can select it and change it. So with my selection tool, I'm going to go to Type and choose Create Outlines. Now it is a shape. It is no longer a letter. I can't use my T tool to select it like I could these, but I can use my direct selection tool to see the points. Look, I've zoomed in. You can see the points that were used to build this shape. So I'm going to select just the bottom two points of this H and drag them down. And now I've changed the shape of that H. You can see why creating outlines, I'm going to undo that, is a fun idea. I'll do it to the top of the H because I think then it's still readable as an H. And maybe I'll do it to the top of the B also. I've got to select the B first, go to type and choose create outlines. Now I can select those top two points and do the same thing. So you can see that uh, creating outlines gives you a little bit of opportunity to play with the strokes of letters. Obviously, I wouldn't want to change the shape of the letter. That Neither does that look good, nor does it serve a purpose. You want to stick with the vertical line, keep it even with the letter. Perhaps I would want to bring these in more. And, you know, perhaps there's a lot more designing that can happen with this poster. But for now, I think you understand the concept of creating outlines, why I would do that and how to work with it.